I, I, I couldn't hear you properly. Maybe the microphone is too far from you. Um, but anyway, let me let me go through that. So there are several definitions about the uh, project. So um, in a project is a piece of planned work or an activity that is finished over a period of time. So a piece of planned work. Now think about your this module and this assessment. That is a project as well. So on uh, the, the project, the assessment, uh, you are going to work in as a group. So that is a planned work and you will be forming a team to work on that. And you, ha you have a, a fixed period uh, to, um, to, to do that, to uh, complete that. So the period of time and intended to, uh, intended to achieve a particular purpose. So you, uh, you are coming together to achieve a particular purpose. And the purpose is to achieve good grades on it and uh, to, uh, uh, to, um, you know, to submit the proposal, uh, the, the, your proposal for the development uh, on time and uh, get good grades and pass the module. So that, that, is a, that is a purpose of it. So the project is a, a temporary attempt. So the teams come together or the people come together temporarily uh, to, uh, to, uh, to achieve a goal. Uh, and that becomes a project. Now, a project is a unique venture. Each project is a unique venture. Does it, it doesn't matter if you are repeating the same project again, there will be some uh, changes to the project. Um, it is a unique venture with the beginning and the end. So that has a beginning and that has an end date as well. So for example, your module is starting today, but actually it was it started earlier. So your module is starting today and the end date on 10th of February, when you submit the final piece of work, that is where your module is going to end. So that has a, a, a beginning and the end date. So all the projects. Now the project you are going to work on uh, the um, uh, the the development side, the New Haven waterfront, uh, 18 story office block. That is a project as well. That has a start that will have a start date and that will have an end date as well. So for that, um, that is uh, the people meet uh, uh, together or come together for and establish goals and within the parameter of cost, scheduling and the quality. So that is what called project when people come together temporarily to achieve something. Now the factors of the project we was what we need to consider is time, cost and resources. So three main factors we will be considering for any project. Doesn't matter if it is a construction project or any project like your assignment or something else. So it could be any project in any industry. These are the main factors we will be considering. But there is another factor which we consider, which is the quality, because quality uh, based on uh, these three factors. And there will be trade off between those uh, these uh, three factors of project management. Now, characteristic of a project is a temporary setup. You are coming together as a team uh, for a unique venture, which is one off task. Um, you need to understand the activities and that aim to achieve uh, the objective or the goals. So what activities you are going to perform and I'm going to give you some of the activities for next week, what you should be doing. Um, you a project have a fixed timeline, a start date and end date, and that has a that has dedicated resources. For example, for your assignment, the dedicated resources you have uh, the four or five people in a group. So you are the resources for that project and you need to um, uh, you need to assign which person is performing which task. Uh, for your assessment, for your assessment project. Now, what is management? So that was the project. Now, what is management? You all know we 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 are all into management of something. Um, so, what do you think? What is management? Any ideas? No. Okay. <clears throat> So management is an act of managing and controlling uh, the operation of the project. So managing and controlling. So once we have a project, we have an idea that this is what we are going to do. For example, you are uh, the task we have we given you the 18 story office block. So 
how you are going to manage and control the operations of that project. So the management is uh, managing and controlling. Now, altogether, what project management becomes? So now look at this few definitions. There are they all the definitions are very similar, uh, but uh, the different people came up with the different uh, definitions. So it is actually planning, scheduling, and controlling of project. Project management is the planning, scheduling, and controlling of the project. So planning, which we need to do through work breakdown structure, through sequencing the work. Sometimes some people uh, 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 talk planning and scheduling, use it as a synonym. And uh, planning, organizing, directing, and controlling. Some people came up with the different ter terminologies. And then the third definition, uh, applic uh, the uh, project management is the application of process, method, knowledge, skills, and experience to achieve the project objective. So obviously we are uh, we are planning, we are organizing, we are controlling uh, any project to achieve the objective. So if you look at those four definitions, um, they are almost same in terms of uh, the meaning of what is project management. So project management is planning, controlling, uh, planning and controlling and monitoring uh, of any project any activity we are we are we are working on any questions so far okay so now what is the difference between the project and operations now as i said project is a one off venture and it is planned to end and this is uh, the projects are revolutionary but at the same time operations which are continuous that is going on over the time that that doesn't plan to end. For example, uh, the university operations are, uh, are are going on over the time and recruiting student, uh, teaching uh, the modules, uh, the completing and closing them out. But each course, when they start in, in September or any other month, that becomes a project because that has a start date and end date. But the operation at the background of that course, uh, th those are operations. So that is repeatable and that is continuous and that is evol uh, evolutionary, uh, not revolutionary. So in project, we need to understand that the, each project is unique. And uh, when we do an exercise today, you will find out that each, each project uh, can be unique and it will be unique um, and it, it is planned to end that, that has a start date and that has an end date. So that is what the projects are. Now, planning, managing, controlling, there are three main things uh, in the in the projects. And uh, how do, uh, how we work on uh, the project factors, which I already showed you earlier, which is time, cost and quality and the scope of the project. So what we do over here, first you are going to define the scope of the project uh, the, and uh, of, of the project given, uh, which is the waterfront um, uh, office, 18 story office block. So you are going to define the scope of the project. That is your main activity or first activity that you have to define how you're going to, uh, how the building should look like and how you're going to build it. Uh, you are coming up with a statement on that. Uh, and then we, once we have the scope, we can uh, come up with a work breakdown structure. And with the work breakdown structure, we can allocate the time and based on the time and the work breakdown, which is the activities, we can allocate cost. And based on the time and cost, we always have trade-off. Um, for example, always remember, uh, when we talk about time, time is money. And uh, in project, when we talk about duration, longer the duration, more the cost could be in the project. And these are the two main factors for delay in projects. So time overrun and cost overrun. So these are two main factors where the projects are failed. And about 99.99% projects are failed. Even though even it is in construction, or any other type of project because it never end on the exact date or exact time and it's always cost overrun 
uh, in the construction project. Whichever project you you can uh, you can take as a case. Uh, look look at those projects. Most of the projects are had the time overrun or the cost overrun. So that is why the project fail, and that is why we need to manage, control, and monitor each activity of the project because we don't want uh, the cost overrun or we don't want the duration or the time overrun on the project. And when we look uh, or when we talk about the trade-off between the time and the cost, that brings out the quality of the project. More the time we, you spend on your assignment or on your assessment or whatever task you are performing, that might give a better quality. But when we say more the time, more duration you spend on something, time is equal to money, it will be more cost as well. So we need to understand that. And that is where the trade-off is. So we need to we need to come up with the optimum cost based on the time spent on each activity, what could be the cost, and the resources spent on the each activity as well. So we need to think about the cost, uh, the, the scope of the overall project and the cost of each activity and how much time uh, we are going to spend on each activity. And that brings out the quality of the project. Quality in terms of the, the construction standards, uh, building regulations, um, and uh, uh, and uh, with the standards which, is, which are required for the inventory in the office block or whichever uh, um, you know, uh, things we are providing with the office blocks.